is the code pipeline tutorial for CS446. So once you go to the document, you're going to want to go to this repository and go up to the top right and click fork um, and then create a fork. Um, this repository is getting the project that we'll use for the pipeline. Um, once this is done, you're going to copy the URL and we'll use this in a second. And you'll create a new folder and navigate into that folder and go to the command line. So now we're going to clone that repository uh, from the link you just copied into that folder. Once that's done, make sure you navigate into the repository. And then we'll get remote. And then you're going to want to copy one of these links. And once you have that link copied, remote add upstream and then you'll be done with this step okay now log into your AWS and now we get to Elastic Beanstalk and create a new one go ahead and give it a name we just did musician app and make sure the environment name is filled out and select Node.js for this. And so if you don't have a existing service role from the previous demo, you're going to choose create a new service role. Um, and then just choose one of your key pairs. And you should have an EC2 instance profile, but if not, the document will tell you how to make one on the PDF. then go ahead and skip to the review. And submit it. And it'll take a sec, but then you'll be done. So now that the environment successfully launched, you can see the domain. And this is just kind of the placeholder um, for, EC, for the Beanstalk. But now we're gonna, there's a setting we have to do for the S3 bucket really quick. So navigate to S3 and choose your beanstalk that should be there that you just set up. Um, go to permissions, and then scroll all the way down to object ownership. We need to make sure the ACLs are enabled for this pipeline to work. And then make sure to acknowledge. So we're good to go there. And now go to code pipeline, create a new pipeline, and just give it a name. Go to the next step. Okay, so for source, we're going to choose GitHub. We'll be using the repository from earlier. We're going to go ahead and connect it. So give that a name. And connect to GitHub. Give it authorization. And then we'll have to install the new app. The AWS connector. And we're going to choose that fork repository from earlier that you should have on your account. Go ahead and install that. So now we should be good to go. You can just connect. And so choose Musician App and Main Branch. 
And so now the pipeline is going to run uh, whenever it notices um, the source code is changing. And we can just skip the build stage. And for deploy, we're going to choose Beanstalk. And choose our musician app and the environment. create the pipeline. And it's going to take a second to um, deploy, but then we'll skip ahead. So once it's deployed, um, we can now go to the Beanstalk domain from earlier, which is now our musician app from the GitHub. Now you're going to want to go back to GitHub um, in your repository on the forked project. Go to the routes folder in the musician.js file and paste in that. You want to edit it and paste in that code from the document. We're going to add a health status so you can see um, the updated code on the pipeline. So once we commit these changes, you'll see that if you go back to the pipeline, it's going to start redeploying because all you had to do is deploy some code on GitHub or on Git and then the pipeline will start running. So once this is done, if you go back to the musician app and go navigate to where we made the changes, so that health, once it loads, you'll see status okay. And that's it.